Hey, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, Kal Holarim La Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Racha Kodash, which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father Yahweh and His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Nathan Masana Kabbalah Hazukarim Shai Yahweh Allah, which means give the bonus to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great wisdom who teach and who will. And Shalom and Wahala Bacha Yahweh Shai Yahweh Allah, which means peace and love to the elect of Israel. And come back again through the spirit power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Racha Kodash, on the border of Anah, from Jimmy S. Memphis count. And the name of this lesson will be He that scattered his will will save his will. Stone with the elect of the nation of Israel. So, Abba Watazah, Lord willing, this lesson be edified. So, I'm going to start with the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Shah, thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses should come upon thee and overtake thee, right? And the earth being scattered is one of the curses. Let's jump down to verse 64. Deuteronomy 28, 64. And the Lord, Yahweh, should scatter thee. Among all people, right? So Israel, the Israelites, the so-called blessed Spanish Latinos and Native Americans, and also to the Israelite foreigners whose spirit goes back to the Israelite. We've been scattered across the four winds of the earth. So it's not a black or white thing. It's all about your spirit. Why? Because we've been scattered. Because you going to have Israelites that look like the other nations. you going to have Israelites that look like so-called Chinese, Japanese, East Indians, Africans, so-called white people, Esau. It's not a flesh thing. It's all about the spirit, you see? So, in the Lord, back in 64, and the Lord should scatter thee. Hey, that's why it's good to say, try the spirit by the spirit. Real quick, let's grab John 7 and 34 real quick. It say, in John 7, uh, this it. Maybe 24, let me jump up. Yeah, John 7, 24. Judge not according to the parents, but judge righteous judgment, right? Judge righteous judgment, man. So let's go back to Deuteronomy. 28, 64. It's saying the Lord Yahweh should scatter thee among all people, right? The nations, you know. Like I say, NLT, for the Lord will scatter you among all the nations, from one end of the earth to the other, right? So the Lord Yahweh will scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And thou thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone, right? You know, different philosophies, you know, plantation, Christianity, you know, also Islam, man. You see? So the point is we've been scattered due to our disobedience, you know. We transgress his laws, man. So a hey, Lord scattered us, you know. So he gonna deliver, he's gonna gather us back. Let's go to De Nehemiah real quick. Nehemiah 1 8. It said, Remember, I beseech thee the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses, saying, If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. Exactly, man. You see? So, and guess what? We transgress the laws that's commandments. So we, we went off. All Israel had transgressed their laws, right? Daniel 9 11. So, therefore, this part of the curse. Us being, scared, uh, us being scattered, man. You know? And this was still underneath that coast, man. You see? It said, but, verse uh, 9, but if ye turn unto me, meaning what? Repent, turn back unto your true power, your true God, the true name of the Bible, Yahweh one shy, and keep my commandments and do them, though that were of you cast out unto the utmost part of the heaven. Wait. The utmost part of the heaven, meaning what? The western hemisphere, man. We quickly grab X on the eight. It said, "But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be be witness witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria, and unto the utmost part of the earth, right? The ends of the earth. You see. So, hey, we gonna get that power, you no know, spiritual power." You see, just like uh, you read the books of Acts, they receive that power, the Holy Spirit, you know, came upon them. So the Holy Spirit, the spiritual power will come upon us in, in this time, man. You know, we in the ends of, of, of the earth, man. 
Let's go back to Nehemiah 1 and 9. But if ye turn unto me, repent, and come back unto your blessing, my side, and keep his commandments, you know, and do them, you know, to the best of your ability. Judges uh, 5 11. It said, uh, throw that what of you cast out unto the utmost part of, of the heaven, yet will I gather them from thence, and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Exactly. So let's read this in the NRT, Nehemiah 1 and 9. But if you would turn to me and, and obey my commands and live by them, then even if you are exiled, exiled to the ends of the earth, I will bring you back to the place I have chosen for my name to be honored. Exactly, man. We went through captivity. That was in the land of that captivity. We should remember ourselves and think upon his name. You know what? I think I got, yeah, I got to pull up, book 2 and 30. But for I knew that they would not heal me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of the captivities, they should remember themselves, man. You see? And we have remembered our, uh, ourselves, man. Through the spirit power of Yahweh so much shot. You see? And 32, and they should praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Right, we have the name now, which is Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, man. You see? So, right. So, hey, Lord said he's going to gather us, man. Bring us back. And I start with the elect. You see? It's starting with the uh, elect of the nation of Israel, man. Let's grab Matthew 24 and 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of, of heaven to the other. Wait. So it's all about the elect. Only the elect will be gathered, will be saved in this time frame. But it is written in Romans 11, 26, all Israel should be saved. But still, it start with the elect first. The two thirds that go down this side, according to prophecies, Zechariah 13 8. You know? But the one third, the elect, hey, Lord willing, we are part of that number, the elect number, we're going to be delivered because the second exodus is coming. You see? I'm going to read this again. And he says, his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they should gather together his elect. By means of what? So called UFOs, which are chariots of our salvation. From the four winds, you know, where we've been scattered to, you know, wherever they elect it, you know, it said from one end of heaven to the other. Wait, and the NLT said uh, from the farthest ends of the earth, you know. So a great deliverance is coming, man. Let's grab, you know what, uh, what's that, Jeremiah? Just came to my spirit, Jeremiah 16. Let me see. Jeremiah 16 and 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that it shall no more be said that the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. What's the land of the north? America. North America, man. You see? Because, hey, we still here, you know, Esau, you know, still make movies about um, Exodus, man, you know? The Lord um, <clears throat> uh, um, delivering us, you know, ancient Egypt, man. But, hey, this next exodus, the second exodus from the top deck, man. <laughs> and all Israel, you know, it, it, you know, ain't, ain't, ain't finna take part in this second exodus, man. It's only a remnant, the elect, the chosen, gonna take part in this second exodus. They've been delivered from the land of the north. It said, and from all the lands where he had driven it, right, where we've been scattered to. Exile, man. You see? It said, um, but the Lord lived that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, and from all the lands where he had driven them. And I will bring them again to their land that I gave unto their fathers. Exactly. And what's that? The land of Israel. <laughs> you know? Going back to book, uh, the second chapter, book two and, um, I'll read 34. And I will bring them again to the land which I promised when an oath unto their fathers, which is who? <laughs> Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. And they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their God, and they shall be my people. And I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I had given them. Right. So he that scattered Israel, we gather Israel, we save Israel. Stone with the elect of the nation of Israel. It's a chosen within a chosen, man. 
know, let me get Jeremiah 10. Give it an end. You know, I'm just on my um, lunch break, you know, 4.33 a.m. or whatever. So, yeah, man, ain't no more. <laughs> hey, this it, man. This the last captivity, man. You know, hey, this the last time we go into captivity, man. Limitation 4 and 21. It said, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. What's that cup? Slavery. Slavery. That's that cup. Jeremiah 49 to 12. You should not go unpunished. You know, we had to drink of that cup. So you're going to drink of that cup. It said, and, and shall make that self naked. Right. It said, uh, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. That shall be drunken and shall make that self naked. The punishment, this is the point. The punishment of that iniquity is accomplished. O daughter of Zion. Wait, us, Israelites. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. You see, this is the last time. You see, it's saying he will visit that iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Exactly, man. So in NLT, limitation 4 and 22, O beautiful Jerusalem, your punishment will end. You will soon return from exile. Come on, man. <laughs> but Edom, your punishment is just beginning, right? It say Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it. That follow it, man. You know? It says, soon your many sins will be exposed. And his sins are being exposed. Doing the spirit power, through the spirit power of Yahweh's most shot, man. It's, it say, uh, her sins have reached unto heaven. You know, I got like five minutes left, so I'm going to um, try to wrap it up. But all praise to Yahweh's most shot, man. You know, we at the end of this. Jeremiah 30. You know, let's, let's read three real quick. Jeremiah 33. For lo, the days come, said the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah. Wait. The southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, man. The southern kingdom make up the so-called Negroes. And the northern kingdom make up the so-called Hispanics, Latinos, and Natives, man. And we're going to be one happy family again in the kingdom of heaven, man. <laughs> no more evil eye towards our brethren, man. You know? And that's in the king, kingdom of heaven. But it said, For lo, the days come, said the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, said the Lord. And I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it, which I just read. Book 2 and 35, man. And there's, and there's many other scriptures as well. You know? This Bible is for the Israelites, man. Starting with the elect. The service of Yahweh Shemashah. Hey, hey. Hold on. Let's go back to Nehemiah. I want to, you know, Nehemiah 1. Let's read verse 9. Now, these are thy servants and thy people, whom thou hast redeemed by thy great power and by thy strong hand. And unto the people you rescued by your great power and your strong hand are your servants. You know? <laughs> you see? We are the Lord's servants. Lord willing. You know, I'll be watching this out, man. Everybody ain't serving the Lord in true sincerity. What that? Malachi uh, 3 and 16. I put 26. 3 and 18. It said, Then shall you return into some between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serve the Most High and him that serve him not. Man, you got a lot of false pastors, you know, false prophets, you know, serving their own belly, not serving the Lord in true sincerity, man. And the Lord going to destroy him. But Lord willing, we can serve the Lord. You know, Lord willing, we serve the Lord in true sincerity, man. But, it, it's, hey, we got to endure until the end. Great tribulation is coming, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm off topic a bit. Let's go back to Jeremiah. Fuck, I'll just be late, you know. You know. Just want to put this out. Jeremiah 30 and um, 10. It said, therefore, it said, wait, this Jeremiah 13 is yeah, Jeremiah 30 and 10 is like, it said, Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, said the Lord, Neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar. Exactly. He would guide us. He would save us. Stalin with the elect. Got all Israel, not of Israel. Like, it's, what's that, Romans also? Romans 9, I believe. But it said, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of thy captivity. And Jacob shall return Israel and shall be in, in rest and be quiet. And none shall make him afraid. And that's the kingdom of heaven. No, we didn't have superpowers in the earth, man. 
He said, out of Zion, I should go forth the law. So verse 11, for I am with thee, said the Lord, to save thee. Right, he's going to save us, stone with the elect. Though I make a full end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee. But I will correct thee in measure, and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. And Otifa, I am with you, and will save you, says the Lord, Yahweh, my shot. I will completely destroy the nations where I have scattered you. Come on, man. Well, come on, man. That's plain. It said, but I will not completely destroy you. I will discipline you. Right, because us being scattered was for our chastisement, for our punishment, for being disobedient. But he would gather us and save us, man. It said, but um, with justice, I cannot let you go unpunished. Exactly, man. What's the, I know I want to hear Jeremiah 31. And 10, hear the word of the Lord, O ye nations, and, and declare it in the hours of far off. And say, he that scattered Israel will gather him. And keep him as a shepherd do his flock. Come on, man. So, Lord willing, he was edified once again. Give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, by Shem, Racha, Kodash, the bonus to the apostles and others of great ministers who teach and will wear peace and love to let with that shalom. Kromash, Allah, Baba.